When an event occurs in the HTML DOM, JavaScript code can be executed. An example of an event is when a user clicks on an HTML element. To execute code when a user clicks on an element, just add JavaScript code to the onClick HTML attribute. If you look at the HTML section, we have the onClick attribute, and there's a JavaScript command right in here. This dot inner HTML equals serial. So I don't have anything in the JavaScript section over here, but still, when I click on what is my favorite food, it becomes serial. You'll notice I also have some CSS here. This is kind of just for fun. I just thought it was kind of cool that you can use the word papaya whip and your browser knows that's a color. That's just a built-in color, papaya whip. Now besides running a command right here, we can also call a function from our other JavaScript code. So if we have the onClick event, we can call change color and then pass in this. That means we're passing in this h1 tag. We're passing in this whole thing here to the change color function. So over in the JavaScript section, we're going to put this change color function. It's going to take an object and then we're going to do object.style.color equals Peru because Peru is not just a country, it's a color also, at least according to your browser. So I've reset this. If I click here, it's now changed to the color Peru. Now on these two, we set the onClick event right in the HTML. However, you can also set the onClick event in the JavaScript. So here's a button here, and there's nothing in this button that shows what happens when you click the button. But over in the JavaScript, I'm going to put in some code here. First, we're going to get the element, document.getElementById, my button. That's this button over here. And then we're going to set an onClick event right in the JavaScript, and the event is set to change background color to medium orchid. Now this is just a function call that we now have to create. Okay, here's the function. Function change background color to medium orchid, and we're going to do document .query selector body. So that's going to apply to the whole body of the HTML, and we're going to set the style dot background to medium orchid. Medium Orchid is another color in your browser. So if I click the button here, it's Medium Orchid for the background. So that's how you can change the background of your whole page. Besides on click, you can also use on load or on unload. So that would be something like this. You would normally put it on your body tag, which would be at the beginning. In code pen, you don't use a body tag. But if you put an on load event on your body and you run a function here, uh, these events are often triggered when the user enters or leaves the page and they often are used to deal with cookies when you're just using the onload and on unload. But we're not going to use this right now. So another thing I wanted to show you is on input. Let's bring this down a little bit. On input means whenever you input any characters or anything, it's going to call a function here. So here we have the text box down here. And now every time I put in any letter, it's calling a function. I haven't created the function yet, so now it's not doing anything. So let's create that function. So the function is remove letter from h1. So we're going to set h1 variable to document.querySelector h1. That's just going to select the first h1 tag on the HTML page, which is this one up here. Now we're going to find the h1.text content. That's the text inside the h1 right here. What is my favorite food? And we're going to set that equal to h1.text content. So we're setting it equal to itself, but then we're slicing it, passing in 0, negative 1. That means we're just taking off the last letter of that field. Now this whole function is kind of just for fun, just to see what you can do. So let's see how it works. As you can see, every time I type a letter, another letter from the h1 tag gets removed. Also interestingly, any time I delete a letter, something is removed too, because I'm putting an input of delete and it's still removing letters. Oh, the whole text is gone. And let me show you some other events you can do. So here I have a div, and there's an on mouse over event that calls this function here, and it passes in the div. And we have an on mouse out event that calls the in out function and passes in the div again. And we have a class of box. So let me put some CSS in here to make it look how we want it to look. So dot box just means we're setting the class box to have these things. For background, we're using the color Rebecca purple. So for some reason, Rebecca gets her own purple. 
and then the color of the text is light goldenrod yellow, one of the longest text names, and then we're just gonna set the height and the width, the font size, and some other things. So let's see what that looks like. And there's the box. And right now, if we mouse over and mouse out, nothing happens. So let's create these JavaScript functions, the M over and M out. Okay, here's M over, and we're receiving this object that gets passed into it, and we're setting the obs.innerHTML to get off me. And then for M out, which means mouse out, we're setting the inner HTML to thank you, smiley face, because you can put emoji in JavaScript code. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna bring my mouse over, over, oh, get off me. Thank you. Get off me. Thank you. There are a lot of other events that you can use to trigger JavaScript code. Check the link in the description to see a list of more events. Also in the description is a link to the code from this video on CodePen. Thanks for watching. My name is Bo Carnes. Don't forget to subscribe and remember, use your code for good.